So apparently we now have a time scale for what's going to happen at TennoCon and when. There is obviously, uh, it says that collection, so we're just going to scroll back up. And well, we already know they're going to be doing a giveaway. We now know it's going to be HP sponsored and well... There's a digital giveaway of a three-day credit booster, and is that really the spore where it doesn't actually say? Seeding step ephemera. Hmm. This isn't what I was looking for. They very clearly said timetable as to what will be going on at what time during the day. Obviously, it starts July 16th. 2022. Huh, we can take some time from this. Well, the time is out actually counting down to. T no, it's not 10 alive. If you tune in from when it starts at 12.30 pm ET, okay, we have our starting time. It's going to start at 12.30 pm ET and go on until 5 pm if you watch for 30 consecutive minutes. Minutes? Minutes, you will get a hold of the the Warfan and the Sugatra that goes with it. More importantly, it says it's going to start at 12.30. Now we know when it's going to start. Then, when 10 Live starts, that is a two hour long event from 5 p.m. ET till 7 p.m. ET, if you watch for 30 minutes, you will get Titania Prime. If you take part in the whole in-game, it says, in the in-game market starting... Oh, so the Stranger's Hood is actually going to be available from the in-game market. So it's not just from helping out and being on there, really. It will be in the in-game market now. What I was looking for more is this. At 12.30pm ET, there will be the intro re with Rebecca that's going to basically kick off the event, what's coming, what time it's coming, what they're hoping to show. Then there will be the sounds of the system. That is usually pretty decent for going into all of the audio effects and the music, especially with New War having just come. That should be pretty interesting. The developers' questions and answers. Yes, if you have any questions about crossplay, 2 p.m. ET is where you're going to want to be, so you can try and ask them then. Then, at 3 p.m. ET, the Art of Warframe with special guests, it's literally they're written down here if you want to read them, that is when the new Prime will be shown. They do this every year. The new Prime is usually shown during the Art of Warframe. That is because they show the artwork and usually go into the Primes. Whether it is or going to be shown, Cora Prime, whether Cora Prime is going to be shown or not, in theory should be. They always show the new Primes in the art part of the event. Then there is the community art show and cosplay content. I'm actually looking forward to this because I've been looking at some of the entries for this thing and thinking, wow, that goes from cosplay to people's artwork, to people actually building Warframe weaponry. You understand what I mean by actually building Warframe weaponry, because there's a certain person out there that makes some amazing ones. Kind of jealous, because I'd love to make some of those. And then, obviously, the entire event rounds up, well, technically at 7pm, but at 5pm ET with 10 Live that... It is the main event of the whole day that is going to show us the Daviri Paradox. It literally says, including a look into the world of Daviri. Witness the interactive in-game visiting the Tenno Live Relay during the show. The in-game experience by visiting. I know, I know, I, I skipped a bit. I realised that, but I continued seeing it anyway. Because during it, you will be able to go through a relay the special relay, and from there it will take you along a journey to show off parts of the Daviri Paradox itself, and, well, 5pm ET, July 16th, that is when you will be able to get a hold of your Titania Prime. Remembering the war fans, that's from 12.30pm, watching for 30 minutes until 5pm. Barrow will bring these in probably about six months' time after the event. 
but from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. watching for 30 minutes will get you a free Titania Prime. Even if you have one, it's kind of worth it just for the Warframe slot. Yes, the Warframe slot. And same goes with the melee weapon. It's worth it just for the melee weapon. I will quite literally be watching Tenocon and le leveling these all at the same time. Tenno Live doesn't bother me, I've got a Titania Prime. But if you don't, it is well worth doing. She is quite an amazing frame. Same goes with the Stranger's Hood. Oh, and Barrow's Relay that will kick off about the same t Actually, that's 11 o'clock. There it is. Barrow's Tenocon Relay will start at 11 a.m. ET on July 16th up until July 23rd at 11 a.m. ET. Of course, if you do buy the digital ticket to get a hold of Barrow on his special relay and the armor that we've already seen several times at this point, they have announced the charity they will be working with and who they will be donating to. Of course, feel free to click on the button and go donate yourself if you want. No pressure here at all, but what Digital Extreme tend to do is every year after Tenocon, whatever's left over from the sale of tickets and everything else when it used to be in person, and hopefully next year it will be, everything left over after the cost of Tenocon is donated to charity. Well, they are still doing this, and it's Inspire, yes, Inspire, I'm still probably pronouncing that wrong, that they will be donating to this year, and I'm actually, I'm amazed that they haven't announced one kind of thing here. I hate myself for doing this. When you go to the worst part of Warframe here and you go to collections, they have in fact changed Tenocon 2021 to say Tenocon 2022. It may be worth having a look here about 12 p.m. ET to have a look at what the merch is going to be. I will be doing this because the floofs sold out instantly. That is, of course, if you are interested in the merch. I was really hoping the image that they show here would be a teaser as to what any kind of merch would be, but it does say check back July 16th for brand new Tenocon merch. Well, he has hoping it's not a pile of very delayed stuff like it was last year. To be fair, there was a lot of stuff I wanted last year that I wish I'd bought because now postage is completely ridiculous, but we're not going down that rant anymore. So at 12.30 p.m., Tenocon 2022 starts, then goes to the sounds of the system at one, that goes into the music and every, all the sounds, everything. Then at two, there is the developer questions and answers. Three, possibly the new Korra Prime being shown. More than likely, even if it's just the weaponry she will be coming with, we already know what it's going to be. She has two signature weapons, at least it better be, or at least the Venari. I'm going to get wrong for pronouncing that wrong. Anyway, something is usually shown there. Then the community art show is going to be interesting with all of the cosplay, the art. I mean, some of the art of Warframe. The community art, I should stick to that one. The community artwork is amazing. There are some very talented people out there. Insanely talented. I'm really jealous of how talented they are. All coming to a conclusion between 5 p.m. and 7 p.m. for Tenno Live, where we get to see the Daviri paradox in all of its Daviriness. Hopefully, yeah. Uh, the only time I'm actually not going to be watching this is going to be about 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. The rest of it I'll watch. The developer question answers, that's probably when I get busy doing some other things in preparation for Tenno Live, but now we know what the time scale the time frame is the schedule. It's the word I was looking for. I'll have to do a scroll up. And with that, we'll leave this off here. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.